Mars is our closest neighbor in the solar system, so the curiosity and intrigue we have for the red planet is natural. We've been studying Mars for centuries, and while we know a lot about the planet, there's still so much that we don't know. Perhaps this interest comes from fascination, but if some scientists are to be believed, it's quite possible that we may be looking at Mars as a solution to continuing sustaining life if and when Earth runs out of natural resources. Today, we're going to look at some of the surprising facts about our neighbor, the red planet. So without further ado, I'm Mike with List25, and let's dive into 25 surprising facts about the red planet, Mars. But before we begin, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell. With that all out of the way, let's go to the red planet. Twenty-five. Why is it red? Why do we call it the red planet in the first place? Well, we call it that because of the reddish solid covering the majority of the surface of the planet. But why is it red? Mars gets the red tint in its soil due to the fact that it's rich with iron. The sheer amount of iron in the soil means that when exposed to the open air, the iron minerals in the soil oxidizes and rusts, giving Mars its iconic reddish rusty look. 24. One Mars Year On Earth, our years clock in at a solid 365 days a year, or 66 on leap years. This isn't so on Mars, however. In fact, the average year on Mars is 687 days long. That's one year and 322 days on Earth. It takes just under two years for Mars to make it all the way around the Sun just one time. Because of the length of one Mars year, its seasons are much different lengths than ours. Autumn and spring are Mars's shortest seasons at 142 days. 23. Mars has a liquid core. Unlike Earth, Mars actually has a liquid core. A liquid iron core, to be specific. And while Earth does have liquid iron in it, it's more of an inner layer above our more solid core. We were able to determine this in the early 2000s from a surveyor spacecraft above Mars. They measured the planet's gravitational pull towards the sun and from it were able to determine that its core wasn't cool enough to be solid. They believe that this has to do with the fact that Mars is a much smaller planet and therefore has a warmer internal temperature than the majority of Earth's core. 22. Mars is very cold. Despite looking like a desert, Mars is actually quite cool. In fact, the average temperature of Mars is a cool negative 80 degrees Fahrenheit, or negative 60 Celsius. Now, this is only the average. It can get much, much colder on the red planet. The lowest ever recorded temperature on Mars comes in at a brisk negative 200 degrees Fahrenheit, or negative 128 Celsius. In comparison, the lowest recorded temperature on Earth was in Antarctica, and it was negative 128 degrees Fahrenheit, or negative 88 Celsius. The hottest it's ever gotten on Mars is just 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 56 Celsius. And while that sounds like a nice cool day to lounge around, uh, we certainly wouldn't recommend it. 21. Mars has water. If you didn't know, Mars has a southern pole that is covered in ice caps, much like the ice caps we have at both of our poles. The biggest difference between the Mars ice caps and Earth's is that it was believed that the ice caps on Mars were frozen all the way through, while Earth's ice caps tend to have waterways and lakes underneath them. However, recent research has suggested that under a very thick layer of ice, there may actually be some waterways. This would mean that Mars is still geothermically active and has a source of warmth. 20. Mars has a much thinner atmosphere. By Earth standards, Mars has a very thin atmosphere. How thin? Well, it's almost 100 times thinner than ours. And while ours is made up of mostly nitrogen and oxygen, 72 and 21% respectively, Mars's atmosphere is almost entirely made up of carbon dioxide. In fact, the atmosphere of Mars is made up of nearly 96% carbon dioxide, and it has absolutely 0% oxygen. 19. Mars could fit inside of Earth six times. Earth's volume is equivalent to 1,083 billion cubic kilometers. In comparison, Mars is only 163 billion cubic kilometers. That's just 15% of Earth's volume. This means that if you wanted to, you could fit just over six Marses snugly inside of Earth. 
Although you probably shouldn't. Pretty sure that would destroy our planet. 18. The first people to study Mars. You may recognize the name of the first person to have viewed Mars with a telescope, as it was the famous scientist Galileo Galilei, all the way back in 1610. In the century that followed Galileo's studies, astronomers discovered the planet's polar ice caps, and in the 19th and 20th centuries, some researchers believe they saw a network of long, straight canals on the surface of Mars. At the time, they believed this to be a sign of civilization on the planet, but we now know that this is simply a misinterpretation of geological features. 17. Why is it named Mars? Mars has had many names to many different civilizations. Mars comes from the Roman god of war. Likewise, the Greeks named it Ares, their god of war. Other civilizations have typically named it after its reddish hue. The Egyptians called it Her de Shur, which means the red one. And ancient Chinese astronomers named it the Fire Star, which is much cooler than the red one. While we have collectively chosen Mars as its official name, everyone also calls it the Red Planet. 16. Mars's Two Moons Mars has two moons. They were discovered by an astronomer named Asaf Hall in 1877 over the course of one week. They were named Phobos and Deimos, after the sons of the Greek god of war Ares. Phobos and Deimos, unlike our moon, aren't spherical in nature. They have much more abnormal shapes. This is believed to be because their gravitational pull isn't strong enough to form a more spherical figure, or because the moons are actually just captured asteroids rather than the traditional moon. 15. Phobos and Deimos are very small. Much like the planet they rotate, Mars's moons Phobos and Deimos are very small compared to our moon. Phobos is the larger of the two moons, at 17 miles wide, and is largely covered by a massive crater that encompasses six of those 17 miles. Deimos is only nine miles wide by comparison and is also pockmarked with craters. In comparison, our moon is well over 2,000 miles wide. So while Mars may have more moons than us, our moon is still bigger than both of Mars' moons combined, so take that, Mars. 14. Phobos' Fate According to the astronomy community, Phobos is very slowly spiraling towards the surface of Mars. They believe that Phobos will one day either crash into the surface of Mars and make a sizable crater, or they believe that Phobos will break up in Mars' atmosphere and form a ring around Mars, much like the ones around Saturn. Now, this is believed to happen sometime within the next 50 million years or so, so it's very unlikely that we will be alive to see this occur. I mean, maybe I will. I mean, my goal is to live forever. So far, so good. 13. Mars Robots The sheer amount of devices we've sent as a species to observe and research Mars is staggering. We've been sending rovers, orbital devices, miniature helicopters, and landers to Mars since the early 60s, and we're still sending more and more even today. The most recent of which was an orbiter and rover from China called Tianwen-1. It reached orbit and landed in February of 2021 and was China's first full expedition to Mars. There's also a multi-part European-led rover program designed to observe Mars from the ground and from orbit in development as we speak. but. It's been delayed several times and likely won't launch until at least 2028. 12. Mars has a low gravitational pull. Mars's gravitational pull is far lesser than Earth's gravitational pull. In fact, if you were on Mars, you would experience 62% less gravity than you would here on Earth. You could even bounce and bound around with every step. This also means that you would weigh a lot less than you do here on Earth. If a person weighed 100 pounds here, it means that they would weigh just 38 pounds on Mars. Mars, proving that weight is really just a number. 11. Mars's axis means many different climates. Like we said previously, Mars's moons aren't very large. Because of this, Mars's axis isn't stabilized like our large moon does for us. Mars's axis swings wildly over time and has led to many different climates on Mars' surface over its history. A 2017 study revealed that because of this shifting tilt in Mars's axis, it at one point released methane gas into the atmosphere, which warmed the planet's surface, which allowed water to flow on the surface, which in turn created the valleys we study today. 10. Mars has the biggest dust storms. You may think you know dust storms, but by Martian standards, you haven't seen anything. The dust storms on Mars are the largest dust storms in the entire solar system. 
these storms are capable of covering the entirety of the red planet's surface and can last anywhere from weeks to months. We believe this to be because the dust particles in the air absorb sunlight which warms the Martian atmosphere. These warm pockets of air then flow towards colder regions, which generates wind. The strong winds lift more dust off the ground, which in turn heats the atmosphere, raising more wind and kicking up more dust. In fact, it was because of these winds that Mars rover Opportunity died. It was consumed in a giant dust storm that blocked out the sun, meaning the rover's solar panels were denied sunlight for weeks. 9. Mars has the tallest mountains and the longest valleys. Mars has the tallest and largest mountain in the entire solar system. Olympus Mons is 17 miles high, and to put that into perspective, Earth's tallest mountain, Mount Everest, is just over 5 miles high. Which means Olympus Mons is three times as tall as our tallest mountain. Not only that, but the longest valley on Mars is Valles Marineris, which is a system of valleys that is six miles deep and runs east-west for around 2,500 miles, which is nearly one-fifth of the distance around Mars, which makes it the longest valley in the entire solar system. Yeah, Grand Canyon ain't looking so grand now, is it? <laughs> Eight. Mars has the biggest volcanoes. Not only does it have the largest mountains, but it has the largest volcanoes too. Olympus Mons is one of these volcanoes, but it isn't the largest. The largest volcano on Mars is a massive 370 miles in diameter, which would cover up the entirety of the state of New Mexico. In fact, a lot of the surface of Mars is covered in hardened volcanic material, and it's even believed that these volcanoes may still have minor eruptions to this day. 7. Mars's Magnetic Field The magnetic field of a planet is what protects a planet from the sun's cosmic radiation, which means it's very important to properly sustain life. From the research we've done on Mars, we've been able to determine that it did have a global magnetic field at one point, but that it lost most of its magnetic field over 4 billion years ago. This led to the destruction of most of Mars's atmosphere by solar winds. It stripped away so much of what was there, leading to Mars's now much thinner atmosphere. That being said, there are still parts of Mars' surface where the magnetic field is more than 10 times as strong as the one here on Earth. 6. Mars Quakes Just like here on Earth, Mars has tectonic plates that often shift. We call them earthquakes, so it's only fitting that we call earthquakes on Mars, well, you guessed it, Mars Quakes. We've actually been able to discern a lot about Mars as a planet based on these quakes. The InSight lander was used by NASA to study the seismic activity of the planet. It uses an instrument called SIZE, which is a seismometer to measure Mars quakes. It can also determine if the seismic activity is caused by the shifting of the planet's tectonic plates, or a meteor. We've been able to gather a significant amount of information about Mars's makeup from these Mars quakes, including how big the planet is, what it's made of, and the contents of the planet's core. InSight's mission ended in December of 2022. Thanks, InSight. 5. Mars has seasonal weather. Mars, much like Earth, has a tilted axis in relation to the Sun. This means that, also like Earth, different parts of Mars experience varying amounts of sunlight throughout its year. This means that it has seasons, much like Earth. However, unlike Earth, Mars's seasons tend to be a bit more extreme due to its oval-like orbit around the Sun. Its orbit is also more elongated than any other major planet in our solar system, meaning that when Mars is closest to the Sun, its southern hemisphere is tilted towards our star, which gives the planet a short, warm summer, while the northern hemisphere experiences a short, cold winter. When Mars is farthest from the Sun, the northern hemisphere is tilted toward the Sun, giving it a longer, though not as warm, summer, while the southern hemisphere experiences a longer and colder winter. 4. Mars has no signs of civilization Despite the possible evidence of life on Mars and the significant evidence of waterways and ocean systems, all of the research we've done on the planet has shown absolutely zero evidence of any sort of civilization ever having been on Mars. In fact, as early as the 60s, we've been trying to see if there was any sign of civilization. Now, we've only mapped about 80% of Mars's surface, so there's always the possibility of finding some new evidence, but it isn't very likely. It's very possible that the first form of civilization on Mars will be humans ourselves. 3. Manned Mission to Mars While we've had numerous successful robotic missions to Mars, 
A manned mission still poses many challenges, the biggest of which is how long it would take to get there. Right now, it would take a manned mission to Mars at least six months just to make it to the planet, which would mean significant exposure to deep space radiation and microgravity, both of which have devastating effects on the human body. This would make it very difficult for extensive research to be done on the planet's surface. Despite all of this, there is an active effort to make a manned mission to Mars, the biggest of which is a NASA-led expedition that could be possible as soon as 2030. China, Russia, and other nations have also made clear their aspirations of sending humans to Mars in the coming decades. 2. Mars rocks. No, we're not just saying that Mars is cool. I mean, it is, but that's not the point. We're talking about actual rocks that have fallen to Earth all the way from Mars. There have only been a select few that have made it all the way here, but when they do, it gives scientists a rare opportunity to research Mars' surface from the comfort of their own labs. Likely, some of the most controversial research done on these rocks was done in 1996 on a Martian meteorite. The research claimed that they had found tiny fossils and more evidence of life on Mars. While their research and theory is still highly debated, the entirety of the 96 research team still believes in their conclusion to this day. 1. History of Mars Being the closest planet to us, we're obviously interested in it. So, as a species, we've done a ton of research on the planet and its history. From the research we've gathered over the years, we've managed to discern that at one point Mars had flowing water and oceans. It once had a much thicker atmosphere, more akin to Earth's, and it was at one point a completely habitable planet by human standards. So lots of our questions have been answered, but they've made way for more questions, the biggest of which being, what happened to make it uninhabitable? We may never know. So what other facts about our lovely red planet do you know? What's your favorite planet? Let us know in the comments below, and as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new content, join our Discord, check out our social medias, mine are all below, find me on X, Instagram, what else? That's it? There's gotta be more. Twitter, Instagram, eh, whatever, they're all down there. Cameo, I'll do a cameo for you, whatever. <laughs> they're all in the description below. So thank you guys so much, I love you all, and as always, I'll see you next time.